What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and the Joker is in theaters now, and I got to see it last Thursday. And I have been really bad in the past doing reviews. I don't think I've done really well with them in the past because I feel like I end up just retelling the story, and that's not what I want to do. But I do want to say there is the possibility of spoilers. Uh, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, you might want to skip this until you do. I'm going to try to avoid them, but it's inevitable, and I don't want anybody to complain at any point in time that you weren't warned. So, um, The Joker is something I've really wanted to talk about, and I'll probably talk about even further with my buddy DJ Chrome in our next podcast. Um, I want to say this movie is amazing. It's not like a 10 out of 10 amazing, but it does a lot of things that are just really and truly incredible. And it's not even really a pure comic book movie in a lot of ways. It's almost as if it's taking the idea of the Joker and just doing its own thing, which is fine. Um, I want to say that Joaquin Phoenix is in the upper echelon of people that have portrayed the Joker. It, it's crazy because I feel like if he had more time to actually be the Joker, because to be fair, he really isn't the Joker at all in this movie until the very, very end. And uh, it's really just his descent into madness. And uh, it's a very cerebral film where you really have to pay attention. And like there's things that happen that you're just like, whoa. And it really all kind of comes together. It's a slow burn. It does take... A little longer to get there than I would have liked but overall just an intense crazy film that really leaves you thinking one of the things that I want to talk about is a lot of the controversy that surrounded the movie and how utterly idiotic it is um, this is the weirdest I've ever felt going to a movie and it's 100% because of the mainstream media I feel like the mainstream media almost tried to will a theater shooting into existence and it's disgusting it's really and truly disgusting this isn't even like remotely the worst idea that we've had in film going into the theaters i think of a movie like or movies and even tv series like the purge where the entire premise of the movie is literally that the the government creates a holiday where you can just kill people like for one day just a purge you know like like I, I it's crazy to me that like nobody picked up on that but because there was one guy who you know did do something deplorable and uh, horrific at a movie theater in Colorado during a Batman movie you know suddenly that means that it, you know oh it's going to happen at the Joker you know and we've even got like articles about like guys being removed two guys being removed from a theater because they were smoking like would you ever even report that would anybody even care if it was at like i don't know the hangover or something like that i don't know why that's the first movie that popped into my head but you know it's just really terrible and, and disgusting how the media is literally trying to make money off of using the joker's name in, in such a horrible you know situation and it made me feel uncomfortable walking into the movie and I've never felt that way about a movie in my life even after Aurora happened you know the next time I went to a movie I didn't think about it nearly as much as I did with everything that surrounded this and uh, that is on the media that's not on people that's not on like actual situations that is literally created by the media okay and it, it drives me crazy I will say that I have to thank the Millbury, Massachusetts Police Department because I did notice them and they were in the theater and they were parked in front and it was very clearly a show, you know, put on to make sure that nothing like this does happen because it's like, hey, we're here, knock it off. And uh, it shouldn't come to that because like, I feel like it was just an isolated incident, you know, and it sucks. Um, but I don't want to go too far into that, but it, it's something that's, that's really bothered me and I feel like almost took away from the movie and, and it's unfortunate and I hope no one else has to feel that, 
because it's completely imaginary and uh, I just I don't think the mainstream media holds themselves to the same standard they hold everyone else like I've watched my revenue here on YouTube plummet because they make a big deal out of things that they do regularly and all in the name of their loss in in revenue you know like people advertising with YouTube instead of them so uh, it was it was quite terrible but uh, I don't know what's worse that or Martin Scorsese's take on this because let me tell you Joaquin Phoenix uh, it, it the the it's not hyperbole to think he put on an Oscar worthy performance because he did like it was absolutely incredible um, we think of Heath Ledger and the way that he descended into the Joker. And I think Joaquin Phoenix uh, really, I don't want to say topped him, but like it, it felt the same. And I, I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I, want, I wish Joaquin Phoenix had more time to actually be the Joker uh, because I feel like if he did, uh, we would not look at, we would look at him the same way or better than we do Heath Ledger's Joker. Now, I thought Heath Ledger was was good as Joker. I, I think he's definitely one of the best. Um, but I've always felt like we romanticized it a little bit more uh, because he, he passed. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of people that disagree with that. But that's always kind of how I've looked at it. And I do hope that, you know, Joaquin Phoenix gets the same type of attention because he was truly phenomenal. And I can't emphasize that enough. And it was just the slow burn that built up. You really felt him and his performance. And for Martin Scorsese to come out here and use the Joker as an example that these comic book movies are not cinema, it's just ridiculous. He's just an old man that you know thinks too highly of what he does. Cinema is cinema. It's putting on a show. And I think this is the biggest proof that we have in the comic book movie industry that, you know, comic book movies are cinema. Like, this was a, a true story. And if you take the Joker name out of it, and maybe even the aspect of the fact that he becomes the clown, um, you would not even know that this was a comic book movie. And that is kind of a twist and one of the areas that I don't love about it is because it is supposed to be Joker and it's it's so far removed from the DC comic universe that it, it's barely the Joker we do see some Bat Batman type characters and an interesting twist on a story we've seen a million times in virtually every Batman movie um, and, and that's kind of spoilery I guess but I'm not going to actually outright say it um, and I don't know how I felt about that but you know in the grand scheme of things I walked into this movie looking at it as just one kind of loosely based story and idea of what the Joker could be because when you look at the Joker and his origin it, it's something that has been a little ambiguous like it's not something that's cut and dry you know where we know exactly where it started um, and there's been a lot of, you know, loosely based stories and, and he's certainly changed it, you know, throughout the years. It depends on the writer, um, you know, how he really kind of got started other than falling into some chemicals. But, you know, who he was, was he really Arthur Fleck? Is that really, you know, the Joker before he was the Joker? Um, the story about his mother and how he came to be. And who he really and truly is uh, very very interesting uh, you know cast a little bit of a shadow of doubt on the Wayne family you know who who were they is this real did they set this up uh, you know even like to see his madness and how it evolves throughout the movie it, it's there's a poignant scene where um, between him and Zazzy beats who I don't even remember what her character was called. And the whole movie, I found myself saying, what, what is her purpose as a character? Like, I don't understand what we're doing with her. And then it just hits. And when it hits, a light bulb goes off and I'm, I'm snapping my finger. And it's like, 
holy cow i don't know why i didn't see that coming but it makes such perfect sense because you know she seemed kind of shoehorned in there but now like wow i i get it and it's it's brilliant i think this movie is brilliantly made i think it's it's worth seeing you know if you want to wait until it comes out on blu-ray or netflix or dvd or whatever it may be i get it i mean it's it's definitely has some uh, some baggage that it doesn't deserve, but in that society today, right? Um, I really, I gave, I'm giving this movie an eight out of ten, and maybe I could be talked into like an eight point five, or even as high as a nine. But my biggest complaint is there are just a lot of lulls early in, and it, it is a slow burn. The payoff is worth it. I would say the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie is as incredible as you could do in a movie like this. It was just, it was the payoff. You know, you've got that slow burn, that story build up. You're, you're building the lore. You're understanding who Arthur Fleck and the Joker are. And then bam, out of nowhere, it, it just hits it pays off it pays off big it's a crescendo and it's just a phenomenal ending uh to a movie that i wish we could see i i feel like the timing of it like where it stands in time um because of the age of certain characters and my perceived age of arthur fleck who i look at and i think of as about a 42 to 45 year old man uh, I don't even know how old uh, Joaquin Phoenix is in general. Um, I guess I'm going to Google that now. Joaquin Phoenix. Um, he is 44. So there you go. Like, that's kind of what I picture him as far as, like, age in the movie. And um, I can't picture, you know, a 60, 65-year-old Joker, you know, moving forward. This seems to be in the, you know, early to mid-80s. So there's a lot of things about it that don't 100% work in continuing to use Joaquin Phoenix. Although I will say, I'm willing to forget all of that in the name of having a great Joker if they decide to use him moving forward and kind of don't worry about the timeline stuff. Um, you know, the sacrifices we have to make as <laughs> moviegoers and enjoyers of good movies. Um, you know, Joaquin Phoenix is just phenomenal. He really and truly is. Um, he really carries the role. He carries the movie. I want to see him more as the Joker um, and not Arthur Fleck slowly finishing his descent into madness. Um, it, it really and truly is a, a great movie. I think, uh, you know, in a world where the MCU has to connect everything, and I feel like that's what we're being conditioned into. And honestly, what I like, um, it, it's hard for me for it to be so removed. Um, but it's a comic book movie that doesn't rely 100% on comic book characters. There's no Batman, you know? There's no Mr. Freeze. There's no Riddler. This is literally about the guy that becomes the Joker. And uh, I didn't know that that would work anywhere near as well as it did so this is an accomplishment and an achievement for for dc movies um you know what they do moving forward i don't know but i would love to see joaquin phoenix have the same opportunity as the joker that heath ledger had because i i think he could do better like he might be you know other than mark hamill hamill you know the best we've seen from the joker it's just insane so that's kind of where i want to leave it i really really liked the movie uh and i really think that a lot of people are going to like it a lot as well i'm really um i'm really pissed off about what the mainstream media is doing with it and how they're trying to you know create this uh you know this sense of unsafeness um this hysteria around it uh, I think it's disgusting, and it's against what the media is supposed to be. And uh, shame on old dudes like Martin Scorsese that just can't, like, let a good movie be a good movie. You know, like, what do you do that's spectacular? Like, I know you've made good movies, 
but like I don't know I feel like he does the same thing every time so like what's the difference you know he's a guy in a clown paint big deal it's a great movie and it is true cinema and there's nothing you can say in all your bitterness that's gonna change it so I would say uh, if you're old enough uh, because this is definitely an adult film uh, the Joker is a movie you should see it is worth paying the money uh, for a movie ticket, which I know these days is expensive. And uh, what do you guys think? I, I hope I did a good job with this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the movie yourself. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you.